Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, making my declaration that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, 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 and be glad in it. Friends, can you believe what day today is? We may as well say Merry Christmas because time is moving so, so fast. And guess what? Still, Jesus is coming soon. (laughs) Don't get caught with your work undone. All right. That's my word for today. Don't get caught with your work undone. Well, I'm excited about the show as I always am. We have got some great folks on the program today. God is so good. He sends wonderful, wonderful people to the CBC radio show. We're going to be talking this morning with Miss Adela Jones of Home State Health. I'm telling you, Home State, you know them. They're doing a phenomenal work in the state of Missouri. And she's going to be here this morning talking and continuing the work that Home State is doing. And then we're going to be talking with, this morning with Miss Deborah Mothershed Black. You know, she's the author of that new exciting book, Where Art Thou? She's going to be here this morning talking about the work that God has given her. And then we're going to be speaking with Mr. Michael Holmes, the president of RX Outreach. It's been a blessing. He's been on the show and he's going to talk about the great things also that RX Outreach is doing in our communities across the country. And we have this morning our dear friend of the CBC radio show, Apostle C.V. LaFleur. You know, she just had her holy convocation last week. You know, that's the Harvest of Glory, International Churches and Ministries. And the Lord just did such a wonderful job. And it was just an awesome, awesome week. And she's back on the show this morning to say thank you to the St. Louis Metropolitan, Missouri, Illinois area. The support was great. And to talk about future things coming up with Harvest of Glory. And friends, I want to tell you that the CBC radio show is waiting on you to give us a call if you would like to be interviewed on our program, your business, your ministry, or your organization, talking about your upcoming event or how what you're doing is a blessing to our region. We definitely want you on the program. Give me a call at 314-270-2225. That's 314- 2-7-0-2-2-2-5. And also, I want to encourage you to make sure that you tune in next week because we're going to have an exciting new announcement, a big announcement that we're going to make here on the CBC radio show. And we don't want you to miss any of the exciting, great details. Well, look, I'm getting ready to take a short break. And when I come back, we're going to be talking with Adela Jones of Home State Health. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to listen to the CBC radio show airing every Sunday right here on Hallelujah 1600 from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can look forward to hearing exciting interviews with local and national business ministries and organizations. For more information about the CBC radio show with Evangelist Nona Thomas, call 314-270-2225 or go to the website, the CBC radio show. Good morning. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas. Did you know that every year in this great nation, it is estimated that more than 100,000 people will die simply because they cannot afford the prescription medication they need? Millions more suffer needlessly, forced to make daily life choices between the prescription medicine they need and food, rent, utilities, child care, transportation, or other important medical needs. RX Outreach believes that no one in this country should have to choose between the prescription medication they need and life's necessities. No one. Affordable medication is a right. As the nation's largest fully licensed nonprofit pharmacy, RX Outreach serves only low income individuals and families. As a nonprofit organization, RX Outreach is committed to to honoring God by serving others. The RX Outreach Program provides access to more than 300 medications that are available in more than 600 different strengths. Qualification is easy, and RX Outreach patients only pay the low, affordable price for the prescription medication they need. 
RX Outreach patients do not pay enrollment fees, membership fees, handling fees, or standard shipping fees. Go to rxoutreach.org or call 888-796-1234 to find out if you qualify. RX Outreach also understands that this problem is larger than just one organization. If you are listening and it's not you who needs assistance, someone near you does. They go to your church, live in your neighborhood. They are your family. Go to rxoutreach.org or call 888-796-1234 for access to affordable medication. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program we were going to be speaking this morning with Mrs. Adela Jones, Director of Marketing and Community Outreach for Home State Health. What a blessing Home State Health is to the Christian Business Connection as they're one of our sponsors. So I'm so excited to have her on the program this morning. So good morning, Ms. Adela. Good morning. How are you? Super. Good to be here with you. Good to be here with the uh, faith community of St. Louis. It's, it's, a, it's a good day. It is. It's a great day. And, and you know, I ask everybody who comes on the show, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Indeed. <laughs> and Indeed. You're rejoicing and happy about it. Very happy. It's a glorious day. Very. It's a glorious day. <laughs> yes, it is. And you know what I tell you? Every day is a glorious day over at Home State Health. Uh, you all are doing some phenomenal things in the community community, aren't you? Well, thank you. Yeah, we, we work at it every day. Uh, as you know, we work with uh, uh, the members of uh, Mo Health Net families across the state of Missouri, including the St. Louis area. And, uh, you know, Mo Health Net is how Medicaid is delivered uh, to families in Missouri. Those are our families. Those are the people that we're connecting to medical services uh, here in this part, the central part, and the western part of the state, and soon to be across the entire state of Missouri. Wow. Mm -hmm. I I know right now that you're providing services to around 75,000 children and families, aren't you? Oh, yes, we are. We've been in business uh, for three years. Uh, When we opened up our doors and started our work, we were at 47,600 lives, and we've increased almost like 48% to to 75,000. It's been an experience, an experience of growth, but it's good work, uh, Evangelist. It's it's very good work because you're working with people who are quite vulnerable in our in our community, Mm -hmm. and a lot of the a lot of the babies in our community. And it comes down to this, you know, if if little Johnny or little Sally is in school and, and they've got a vision issue, let's say, that's probably going to impact their whole, you know, academic experience. Yes. We want to remove that obstacle. So that's why we have dental vision care uh, and medical care. We work with the parents to stay on schedule, making sure immunizations are up, making sure uh, visits to the doctor are, are happening, and, again, removing obstacles. Uh, just to give you a quick idea of what's an obstacle, transportation. Indeed. <laughs> yes, you know, it is. Yeah. It's as simple as that. If you got kids in daycare, you're, you're a working mom, we will pick you up at home, go to the daycare, pick up the kid, and go to the doctor. And if you get prescriptions after that, we, we, we coordinate the transportation there. So a lot of life uh, for, for working parents, uh, uh, and those kids are below the poverty level, is just coordinating life. You know, so we also have a concierge service uh, where it's one call. That member can make one call, and we will help you get their, your doctor appointment and your transportation to the doctor appointment, your transportation for your kids. So when I say remove obstacles, it's the care connecting you to the good quality doctors that are out here and also getting you there. It, it really is. In fact, uh, I was going to talk about the member concierge program, which is just simply amazing. You know, it's mm-hmm. like home state health is really boots on the ground, aren't you? Yeah, and, and you have to be. I mean, our parent company is Centene, and the philosophy of Centene is that health care is best when it's delivered locally. So our people are from this community. When you call our, our customer service line, you are speaking to someone who lives right here in the St. Louis area. So they are familiar with our streets, our places, our communities. And, you know, if someone's calling here and saying, you know, I live in the 5200 block of Cobrillion, that person's probably going to know 
where that is, mm-hmm. and then they're going to know where that health care center is in, in, in relationship to that. So, and even for our providers, talking with people who are from this community, we definitely understand that that is a critical piece of success in this relationship. And this relationship simply comes down to one thing, keeping communities healthy. You can't really go anywhere in life if you're not healthy. And you certainly want to get into preventative care because once you're in a chronic situation, it's no good. You and I don't manage our health care in an emergency room. Why should we expect anyone else to do that? That is so true. And um, part of simplifying the experience, you all also include home doctor visits where applicable. You have pediatricians on staff and other internal Mm -hmm. medicine physicians that actually visit the members. That is amazing. Oh, yeah, it's going back to old school. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, uh, for some of us of a certain age, you can kind of remember when uh, (laughs) the doctor came to the house, and we do that. Uh, We we get information of our patients, our members who have gone to an ER room, maybe for something kind of repeatedly. We work with a service, uh, an organization that will go knock on the door, Go and nurses too. We also have a, uh, for example, if we know a mom just had a baby, there's an organization that we work with, Eden, and they go to the the mom's home and say, hey, you know, what's going on? How can we help? And in addition to those uh, professional groups that we're working with to do that, we also work with some of the uh, community organizations, community health care organizations in town, like Nurses for Newborns. We are referring our members to Nurses for Newborns. And they're also doing home visits. So I think we've got come to that place where we've got to make health care accessible. And if that means getting into where the member is, that's what it means. Because you can't get isolated. You, you can wind up with isolated communities. And these aren't just communities. These are communities of people, human beings, families. We've got to get get where they are. Yes. Yes. Well, that's what I really love about home state health, because, you know, as you are going into the faith based communities, as you're going into the churches, you know, our goal is to let people know about these services. There are so many wonderful opportunities and many people just might not know that things are available to them. Right. Don't you agree? Oh, yeah. And, and you know, and it's and it's uh, and it's a larger group that we're communicating to uh, larger than our membership base. We're also looking at an area of people that I call influencers. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and these are the folks who are, are definitely part of the faith community. And these are the nurses, the doctors, the social workers, the, uh-huh. the school nurse, because they're encountering people on the front line. That school nurse is a fabulous person. I mean, we've met with school nurses from the Jennings School District, the St. Louis Public School District, and they are just really encountering people right there. And if they're encountering someone that's not enrolled in a health care plan, we want to be front of mind to them. So they have to be familiar and comfortable and have a confidence in our product and that we're going to work with their student or their patient Mm -hmm. or their client with the highest respect, regard, and with the most quality program. So we've got to be front of mind, and I want to be accessible to them as well as the member and potential member. So that's why we kind of partner with the faith-based community because we know that uh, on Sunday and Wednesday and all through the week, those are the folks that are are engaged with, with the faith community. Yes, yes, indeed. Now, I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in right now, we're talking this morning with Mrs. Adela Jones, Director of Marketing and Community Outreach. Now, Adela, I know that we're right now in an open enrollment yep. program. Is that right? That is correct. Uh, the the Mo Health Net uh, is in an open enrollment period for uh, members or uh, uh, new members or old members to to choose a plan, and uh, you know we want people to give Home State a look. If you can always go to our webpage at homestatehealth.com, and or give us a call eight five five six nine four. Four six six three, and that's where our customer service lines and those those folks do a fabulous job. They know all of our benefits. They know how to refer you to the state to get enrolled with Home State, because you got to take your health care very serious in, in that of the children. And I really, you know, I'm I'm so blessed. I guess I I have not really encountered a parent who doesn't want <laughs> to do the best thing for their kids. Yeah. We're here to help you do that. 
it, we are here to help you do that. Indeed. I, and it seems like every time I, I talk to you about home state health, there's always something new, something even better that you're <laughs> offering families into the community. It's just it's just such a great program. Yeah, and I think we're looking at ways to, um, again, address those obstacles, open, make it easy for you to use, even to the point of we've recently kind of done an overhaul of our um, – a redesign of our materials. We've done focus group with groups with members, and we said, how do you want to consume information? You know, they want it quick, easy, and in one touch, one place. Mm-hmm. So we re- we've redesigned a lot of our materials, our new logo. Uh, it kind of incorporates how we were when we started. And, it, you know, it's a heart because it's really health good, quality health care is at the heart of what we do. And But our materials are easy to read. We incorporated icons where it's easy. If it's a phone number, we're going to have a little phone there. It's going to tell you, boom, that's the number I need. Web page, all of that kind of stuff. And a much more easier to read, uh, not so jumbled up where you get a whole bunch of words. I look, I'm looking for one piece of information. Where is it in all of these paragraphs? No, no, no. We removed all of that so we can help our members navigate what is a rather complex uh, industry. We want to just remove that obstacle of complexity and make it easy. Well, truly, that has been done. I have to say, I love the new logo. uh, And I've gone to the website several times, Mm -hmm. and it is, it is, it's it's so user-friendly. It's great. (laughs) Yeah, we, we get a lot of good comments about how easy it is to navigate. And, you know, one of the things I really like about, um, how we approach things. When we go to health fairs, uh, there's a doctor that's on our staff, and she's been on your show, Dr. Uh, Janetta Craig. Yes. And I, I get a kick out of, you know, she's on our brochures and stuff, and I tell little kids, oh, there she is right there. There's the doctor. What? And it's just something their eyes get really big. It's like that lady that's in this, you know. And, and they get to see a doctor in a context that's not in that room. Yes. You know, where there may be scary things like needles. But <laughs> they kind of get to see a doctor somewhere else. And so our people really work. Uh, our medical director, chief medical director, uh, Dr. Shore, we're out in the community. We're all over the place because mm-hmm. we like for people, our partners, to see us and know that we're part of what they're doing and we support what they do. Yes. Well, it's it's very evident. We're just about out of time, but would you please give us all of that contact information again? Sure. And also, I want to let my listeners know that you can go to the CBC website of the com, and you will see the, the the beautiful new logo and the link to your website as well. So Great. go uh, right ahead. Give us a call at 855-694- Four six six three, or homestatehealth.com. Wonderful. Is there anything else in closing that you'd like to say this morning? Uh, no, no. Well, th- we can't thank you enough for your support uh, of of our health plan and all the exciting ideas that you have, and 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 giving us access to your your contacts, your audience, and your belief in in quality health care and working with us. I just can't really thank you enough for that. You. You're a powerhouse in and of yourself. Well, truly, we give God the glory. I'm excited about what's going on. Anything that's going to (laughs) help our people, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. The community, uh, I'm I'm all for it. And the outreach, and we're going to be talking about that in in weeks to come, about Mm -hmm. the outreach that Home State Health does is just so important. And we're going to hear from your partners, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah, we've got a... Some of our partners who are doing a lot of things over the summer, so we'll be promoting those ideas and, and giving people some insights into what they're doing in the community uh, and how they are working with home state. So I look forward for that opportunity as well. Amen. Well, thank you, Mrs. Adela sure. Jones, Director of Marketing and Community Outreach for Home State Health. Thank you so much. Good to talk to you, friend. All righty. Friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, good morning. This is Antha Rogers of EDZArt.com. I'm a proud member of the Christian Business Connection. Contact me for all of your Christian graphic and kingdom needs. Call me at 314-338-5154. And again, this is Antha Rogers of EDZArt.com. I'm a proud member of the CBC 
Christian Business Connection. Are you a member yet? Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to listen to the CBC radio show airing every Sunday right here on Hallelujah 1600 from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can look forward to hearing exciting interviews with local and national business ministries and organizations. For more information about the CBC radio show with Evangelist Nona Thomas, call 314-270-2225 or go to the website the CBC Radio Show dot com. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program that if you were listening last week, we got a little taste of this phenomenal new book, Where Art Thou? by Minister Deborah Mothershed Black. Well, let me tell you, she's back. And we're going to have her on the next four shows because she is going to go in depth, uh, taking two chapters at a time, talking about this wonderful book. I think it's so important what we're doing now because it is going to make a difference in your life. I want to get right to it and welcome to the CBC radio show this morning, Minister Deborah Mothershed Black. Good morning. Good morning, Evangelist Nona. I'm so happy to be here. Well, I know you are. We're, we're just excited, too. Now, you know the question now. You know, you should. You, you, you ready for the question. I, I asked <laughs> you last time. You didn't heard the show. And the question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, ma'am, it is. This is the day that the Lord has made for me. I am blessed. I am here. All is well. All is well. I like that. All is well. Now, you know, when we were going over the book last uh, week, okay, we went over each chapter, but now you're going to bless us because you're going to go a little more in depth, aren't you? Yes, ma'am, I am. And I believe we got you for four Sundays. Am I right? We got you for four Sundays. Yes, I just thank <laughs> God for that. This is a blessing. I. <laughs> I am just so happy to be on the radio to talk about this book that the Lord has given me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, just to just to give a little tiny bit, because it's really a testimony, because I, you know, in your book, you say that you and the Holy Spirit (laughs) wrote this book. Is that right? That is correct. The Holy Spirit guided me through this. And uh, it's a deliverance book. It's a. thought provoking book Mm -hmm. and uh, I have questions behind each chapter so that you can locate yourself and once you do it's a prayer behind each chapter to move you on through your deliverance well all right now well well let's get moving then I know you're going to start us out by talking about the first two chapters which are entitled in the beginning and first things first so go right ahead minister Deborah Black thank you Well, the title of the book is Where Art Thou? I'm going to start for how God gave me the title. And uh, most think this question is about God. However, this question is not relatively speaking of God because God is eternal. God is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And God has not changed, moved, nor compromise his belief or his position or his word. The question is asked relatively of you. God wants to know why have you changed? Why have you moved and compromised off his position? Why hadn't you took his word as for what it is to live your life? And so we started off in the book talking about uh, in the beginning. Now, this book addresses the challenges and issues that transpire and cause stagnation on the road of life. In the beginning, God designed an explicit roadmap for living with directions and placed it in the book called the Bible. So we wouldn't get lost. So we wouldn't, he he doesn't want us to be ignorant of him, his word, or of the weapons that the enemy uses against us. Joshua 1 verse 8 in the Amplified book says, The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night 
that you may observe and do according to all that is written it in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous and then you shall deal wisely and have good success. It is God's desire that we deal wisely and have good success in our life. God's desire is for us to have a great life, a good life, uh, an abundant life. And all we have to do is follow the instruction, which is the book. God says, if we be willing and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. And that is his desire for us to eat the good of the land. So I'm moving on to chapter one in the beginning. In the beginning lays the foundation in order for us to stand. Because how many of you know that in a building, uh, the first things first is you must lay the foundation. And the higher the building goes, the deeper the foundation is. So that is in the physical, it is in the spiritual. The higher you want to go with the Lord, the deeper you have to dig in into his word and into a relationship with him. In the beginning, God created us in his image, in his image, in his image. And what is God's image? God's image is uh, successful. God's image is an overcomer. God's image is powerful. God's image is uh, all the things that he desires us to be. God said that we were divinely created in his image, which means we have the power to overcome some things, which means we have the power to put the devil up under our feet. God from the beginning said he wanted to make us in his image after his likeness. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. So his likeness was to be fruitful and multiply his likeness for us to have power. And what we say, his likeness was for us to have that creative ability to change things. And God blessed us. God blessed us because his intent was for us to be fruitful, fertile, and for us to walk in prosperity, peace, and fulfillment. Bless here means that he endowed us with power. God said he gave us the ability to walk in authority over our circumstances. The favor and goodness of God is upon us. We just have to recognize who we are and whose we are and walk in it. The word of the Lord from the beginning said that he wished or his desire is for us to bear much fruit. Being fruitful means for us to be productive, effective, successful, and mature and ready to produce in all aspects of our life. Yes, God wanted us to replenish the earth and subdue it. Remember, he wanted us to have dominion over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Next uh, chapter was first things first. God is a God of order and uh, of peace. So in God's order, the first thing first is we must be born again. Again, as I said, this book uh, in the beginning lays a basic foundation and after you know who your creator is and what you were created for, then he moves on to the first thing in living a successful life is you must be born again. You must be connected to the source of the power, which is Jesus. You must be in right standing with the father. You must be born again. Again, the Lord does not want us ignorant of his word, and he do not want us living a life defeated and unpurposed and just 
unfocused, going to and fro with no destination, with no destiny. So you have to know who you are. You have to know whose you are. And in order for you to start moving toward the life, the purpose, the destiny that the Lord had predestined you to live in. At the end of every chapter, you have a prayer that the Lord gave you that actually you are speaking into the person who is reading that book. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. And so the the prayer that you had after first things first, uh, I, I really love it. I was reading as you were reading. And tell me, how did God give you that? Uh, through prayer, woman of God, uh, as the each chapter addresses some of the issues that uh, we go through in life, then God said, uh, now that you've located where their problem is, where their hurt is, mm -hmm. they need to move past that. So this book not only just brings to light where you are, the Lord wants you to move past where you are mm -hmm. so you can move on with your life. That's right. And be successful in the destiny that he's already mapped out for us. Amen. I love it. I love it. Now, tell us where can folks go right now to get a copy of Where Art Thou? They can go to www.debrambbooks.com. Now, that's www.debramb.com. D E B R A M B B O O K S dot com. Also, they can come to go to Deborah M B Books at Yahoo dot com. But my website is www dot Deborah M B Books dot com. Now, this book is in Spanish, English, and I have it on CD. Wow. Wow. You say it's in Spanish too? Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. So it's something here for everybody. I I'm excited about what God is doing in your ministry. And you're going to come back. You promise you're going to come back next week and give us another couple chapters of insight. Can, can you do that? Yes, ma'am. I promise to come back. It <laughs> is an right. honor to come back. Amen. Well, I want to thank you again, Minister Deborah Mothershed Black, the author of Where Art Thou? Thank you so much. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to listen to the CBC radio show airing every Sunday right here on Hallelujah 1600 from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can look forward to hearing exciting interviews with local and national business ministries and organizations. For more information about the CBC radio show with Evangelist Nona Thomas, call 314-270-2225 or go to the website, the CBC radio show. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program that we were going to be talking this morning with one of the sponsors of the CBC Radio Show and Christian Business Connection. I'm so excited to have in our studio today, Mr. Michael R. Holmes, president of RX Outreach. Good morning, sir. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Good morning to you. Now, I didn't prep you on this question. But I ask everybody who comes on the show this one little question. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely. And it's a beautiful day. Thank you. Yeah. You're rejoicing in it. Absolutely. And you're glad in it. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a great day. You know, and it doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's if it doesn't matter because the S.O.N. is, is shining. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Well, I want to get right to it because RX Outreach is doing some amazing things across the country. And we want people to know that this is a St. Louis based nonprofit organization. And just tell us, if you would, about RX Outreach and, and, and starting off setting the foundation, Michael. Tell us about how God gave you the vision. Okay. For this. Absolutely. I'll be happy to. So I was working at Express Scripts, which, you know, is the largest pharmacy benefit manager in the country. Mm -hmm. And I actually worked for the chairman of the board. And, and one morning I was praying, saying, God, what do you want to do through me? And he put it on my heart clear as day to take RX Outreach, which was a pharmacy that the Express Scripts owned, to take it and to spin it off as a not for profit so it can go help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I got up that morning and I wrote a business plan to take this. A pharmacy and a spinning off as a not-for-profit. 
I took it into the chairman of the board. I presented it to him, and he agreed to it on the spot. Wow. He wound up donating over $7 million worth of equipment to get us up and running. Wow. Now, I believe that's God. It, it, it could only be God. <laughs> wow. Well, RX Outreach is is, uh, is known all throughout. But one thing I love about one of the phrases to describe, you say providing affordable medications for people in need. That's so important in these days, isn't it? Oh, yes, ma'am. In fact, um, since we've uh, spun off, which has been five years now, this mm-hmm. is our fifth year, we've mm-hmm. served over 200,000 patients, and we now save them over $300 million. Wow. You know, people should not have to make a decision on whether to pay the light bill or what they're going to eat or get their medication, should they? No, they shouldn't. And with RX Outreach, you don't have to make those tough calls. Yes, yes. And and I think that's so important that the churches and the communities need to understand and hear more. You know, you hear so many uh, uh, claims about discount medications and things of that nature, but really, RX Outreach is. Yes, ma'am. We are a not-for-profit organization. So I want to stress that Mm -hmm. we're not here to make money. We're here to serve people. Mm -hmm. And in fact, our core value is to honor God by serving others. Yes. And I believe you really say that right out front, don't you? Tell me, where can we see that phrase? Uh, Well, actually, the bottle tops that we send out, every prescription bottle that we send out says RX Outreach, honoring God by serving others right on our bottle top. Now, did you say right on the bottle top? Yes, ma'am. You are professing God right on the bottle top. Yes, ma'am. On every single one that goes out. So I think that's all right. <laughs> I, I think that is uh, what he deserves, if not more. If not more. If not more. And I'm sure that that was um, that was probably an easy decision. But uh, what, has it been a challenging decision for you? You know, there were some people that said, you can't do this. And I said, why not? Mm hmm. In the five years that we've uh, done this, we've only had one complaint. Mm. And that person was upset with God, and we use that as an opportunity to pray for them yes. and help them through their tough time. Indeed, indeed. So uh, I believe that when you first started, of course, when you wrote that business plan, when you made that presentation, you were passionate about it. But what has kept you even going more so? I mean, I'm sure every every moment, every year, it's getting stronger and stronger. How is that? Well, you know, when we first started, we, we served the first year about 30,000 patients. Mm-hmm. Now we're serving about 90,000 patients. So we've grown each year. But, you know, God has been good to us along, you know, each step along the process. We went through times where we said, I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't Mm -hmm. know how we're going to get this drug. I don't know how we're going to be able to afford to do this. Mm -hmm. But he's come through each time and we've been able to uh, just to make it and to provide. And we've been blessed throughout the process. Indeed. I believe there's a word included in there that we can use. And that's called favor, isn't it? Yeah, we've had favor. (laughs) There's no doubt about it. Yes, Mm -hmm. yes. So tell us here in, in 2015, as you have grown in this five years, is there a, a, a particular uh, outreach or what is your, your next step in uh, our X outreach? Well, you, well, you know, uh, first, let me make sure people understand that we're a mail order pharmacy. So we actually send our prescriptions through the mail mm-hmm. and we can send them to your home. We can send them to a friend's home. Uh, we can send them to um, into a clinic so we can send them wherever you need us to send them because we deal with people that sometimes they don't know where they're going to be living next week. Hmm. And so, mm-hmm. you know, we can send them wherever they need them to be sent. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the only exception for that are the few controlled substances we have. Mm -hmm. Second thing I want them to understand is because it's mail order, these are chronic medications. Mm -hmm. So if you have an earache and a doctor says, uh, I'm going to prescribe amoxicillin for you today, well, you're not going to get that through mail order because you need that medicine today. So you're going to go to a retail pharmacy or to a hospital to get that now. We have the long-term medicines for diabetes, for hypertension, for mental health, for heartburn, those sort of things. So Mm -hmm. we, we get that. So when we started, we had about 300 drugs. Now we have over 600 different types of drugs on our formulary. We keep growing. We keep adding new medications. And I don't think we're, we're anywhere near being done. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we'll continue to grow is, is, and continue to serve more people. Indeed. And the mail order makes it so convenient. It really does. I have talked to many people, uh, for instance, uh, with uh, uh, diabetes. And, you know, one complaint has always been that I hear from folks. Well, you know, I have to go get it, you know, every month or I have to do this or I run out and I, they'll wait to the last moment. Yep. And you get down to the last thing and then they have to run out. But through RX Outreach, you you don't have to do that. No, ma'am. We send out our prescriptions typically in three and six month quantities. And then we will notify people by mail when it's time for them to renew and we make it easy for them to refill the prescription. We'll We'll even reach out for the doctor for them to help them get that renewal. And so by getting your prescription in the mail in either three month or six month entities, 
And those quantities will, you know, help you to be more compliant with your medication, to stay more consistent in terms of your treatment. That's what I was going to say. I would think by having, uh, by using your services, it's going to pick. It's going to help folks to really stay on top of their medications and with also notification when it's time to to refill. I mean, that's amazing. You know, and that's so important because, you know, things like hypertension, you may not feel bad, but they call it the silent killer for a reason. Mm. It can kill you if you don't stay on your medication. So if you've got something like hypertension, you need to stay compliant. You need to take your medication so it doesn't sneak up and hurt you. Yes, yes. Michael, And I know, of course, this is such a passion for you. And I know you've talked to you talk to so many families and so many individuals. Uh, what have you found that this is such a great need for seniors? You know, a lot of seniors, um, for example, they may get on um, Medicare, but then you get in the donut hole. Mm -hmm. And then you get in the the donut hole, you have to pay 100% of your costs. Mm -hmm. Or when you first start out, you have that big copay, and some people just can't afford that. Yes. And so those people typically come to us and they say, you know what, I've got this insurance, but I still can't afford Mm -hmm. my medication. Mm -hmm. They'll come to us and we'll help them. You know, because we're not for profit, we don't care whether you have insurance, whether you don't have insurance. It's all income based. Mm -hmm. And if you're eligible, we'll help you no matter what. Yes, yes. And I know we have some families and folks who are listening right now and they they surely want to know how to get more information about RX Outreach. Can you give us that? Oh, absolutely. You can go to rxoutreach.org or you can simply call us at 888-796-1234. Give us that information one more time, would you? Sure. It's uh, for RX Outreach. It's rxoutreach.org. Or call us at 888-796-1234. Wonderful. I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in, we're talking this morning with Mr. Michael R. Holmes, the president of RX Outreach. Michael, I also want to ask you, uh, when I went to the website and, and uh, you know, just trying to uh, feel around and, and get all information about RX, one thing that I just, I, I felt it was personable. It was personable. It wasn't, and I know it may sound funny, it wasn't cold as a uh, web, as some websites can be. You know what I'm saying? And, and I really got a good feeling just from going through the website. Well, I'm glad to hear that. We worked hard on that. (laughs) Uh, We just actually recently revised the website and it's actually staffed by people right here in St. Louis. Mm, That's great. Local people that are handling it. All of our pharmacists are graduates of the St. Louis College of Pharmacy, which is the oldest pharmacy west of the Mississippi. So we're local and we're here to help. Indeed you are. Well, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to listen to the CBC radio show airing every Sunday right here on Hallelujah 1600 from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can look forward to hearing exciting interviews with local and national business ministries and organizations. For more information about the CBC radio show with Evangelist Nona Thomas, call 314-270-2225 or go to the website, the CBC radio show. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to have on our show today, none other than Apostle C.V. LaFleur of Harvest of Glory International Ministries and Churches and St. Elizabeth Temple. And friends, I tell you, if you missed the Holy Convocation last week, It was a grand time in the Holy Ghost. We had a Holy Ghost party, so I can't wait to get right to it and talk about that and the other great things that are going on in Apostle LaFleur's ministry. So good morning, Apostle. Good morning. You know know the question. You almost could say the answer before I ask you. (laughs) And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? And I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, Apostle, we're still rejoicing from last week, aren't we? Didn't God oh, do yes, something? We are. Yeah, yeah. God truly did an amazing work last week. Every day, it was a Holy Ghost party. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about, uh, you know, all of last week, if you would, Apostle. And I know you wanted to come on the show today and just say thank you to the metropolitan area, Missouri, Illinois, for their support. Yes. Well, first of all, I want to thank the St. Louis metropolitan area for coming to the Harvest of Glory International Churches and Ministries Holy Convocation. 
I do not take it for granted for what the Lord has done. He has given us favor with him and with man. The Lord endorsed us with a powerful anointing. Mm -hmm. Our special guest choir, just us, and Apostle Ariette Murray, well, she set our event on fire the first night. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> and Bishop Donna Mack had a dynamic ring of words. Yes. And then the next night, my good friends, Bishop Milton Green and Pastor Reba Green, were our guest MCs. And, oh, my God, <laughs> they were awesome. Yes. And then there were many choirs from the area that were grand. And then Apostle Pastor Cornelia Isaac from Detroit, Michigan, uh, she had a message of obedience to move forward. Mm -hmm. It was heaven sent. And last but not least, Dr. Levi King <laughs> came with a military strategy <laughs> in moving forward with a sneaky anointing <laughs> that hit you unexpectedly. And you know what? What's that? I want to give you a special shout out to the Christian Business <laughs> Connection <laughs> with Evangelist Nona Thomas, <laughs> which is a perfect connection to coordinate your event. Hallelujah. If you want some of the stress release to offer you, I want to recommend this business entity. I experienced a smooth operation of making sure every minute detail fall into place in an orderly fashion. Right, Evangelist? Amen. To God she be the glory. So I want you to know she also introduced to us an upper class, mega event star. We had not operated in from our previous conferences. Her personal touch of class and elegance made our event regal in the power of the Holy Spirit. Furthermore, I want to endorse the Christian business connection for your church or business to invest in because it's a trustworthy business connection to prepare you in to the next level. She didn't know I was going to say all of this. I sure didn't. Bless you. And I want to say I rate evangelist Nona Thomas with a triple A. Oh, bless him. Or a five-star service award directly from me. Amen. And that is saying something. <laughs> And I want to say right back to the uh, to all of our listeners, truly, uh, St. Elizabeth Temple and Harvest of Glory International Churches and Ministries. Apostle, you work with an excellent, you can't help but be excellent because you have a spirit of excellence on your ministry. So it, 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 it's not hard to be that way because I'm, I'm, I'm mimicking you. Truly, you are a woman of excellence. And I want you to also know, uh, my listening audience, that the, you know, very rarely do I say this part and that is her ministry this woman of God's ministry who's on this program this morning is the real deal <laughs> okay is the real deal God has given me an excellent gift of discernment and I'm telling you that her ministry works in excellence integrity and is the real deal and last week apostle it was pretty hard to, to, to stay in work mode with all that uh, Holy Spirit moving around her I'm telling you every single night it got better and better didn't it. Yes, it is. <laughs> and now, so I know, Apostle, that this is an affair that you do uh, biannually or biyearly. That's the word. Every two years. You, you think we're, it's any way we can do this every year? Is that pushing it? Well, the Lord hasn't given it to me yet, but I'm waiting on hearing from him. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. We had people who came up to me, and I don't know if you were even aware of this, Apostle, who came up to me and said that it was simply life-changing. I had one lady who came to me, and she was 
at another affair and she said no the Lord told her to come over to Illinois because God had a word for her and I know that happened to many people didn't it oh yes it did it was uh, so phenomenal that I had a girl in the audience that the Lord just kicked her out and I had a prophetic word for her and I did not know until after the service, she came not knowing anyone, and she said she heard me talking about the event on the radio, and she said, she's talking to me. I must be there. I got to be there. And then God picked her out. I was blown away. Oh, my God. And I thought, you know, she was talking to the evangelist. She said, I don't know her. She said, no, I don't know anyone here. God sent me here. And God told her everything she needed to know to go to the next level. Mm. Oh, isn't that awesome? It is. It is. It's amazing what God will do, truly. Uh, One thing I'd like to say that uh, your volunteers and your staff Everyone, uh, I could tell they love God. They love God, and they put 100% into everything they did. That's a blessing for your ministry, isn't it? Oh, it is a blessing. They work like clockwork. I mean, I didn't hear any memory, no complaining. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were excited. The children were excited, and they wanted to do to do everything necessary to make the event go over. You know, just like you had purpose this boy to go. Yes. And they worked with you and even if the ones that seemed a little rough in the beginning, they gave you hugs and kisses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so really it's just an overflow that goes into your Sunday services and throughout your Bible study. Tell us the times and everything for your services, Apostle. On Wednesday night is our Bible study at seven o'clock and on Sunday morning Sunday school starts at 9.30 to 10.30, and then our morning worship service starts at 11 until. And then we have something new coming up. We have our falling into a fall revival starting October the 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th. And the first two days are going to start off with Bishop Milton Green. From Mount Moriah. And then we have Apostle Jack, all the way from Ohio. He is a dynamic, worldwide, renowned prophet. Mm. And we're going to shake the heavens and shake the earth again. We're looking for a phenomenal time in the Holy Ghost. Well, you know, I just love that. You know, I'm just thrilled how the Lord can move. Amen. And uh, I'll, it does not matter how old I'm becoming, I'm still thrilled. Amen. I mean, God has something exciting in all our lives. And if you would take out the time to come 7 o'clock each night, God has a blessing with your name on it. Amen. And where are you located, Apostle? We are located 303 Washington Street, Lovejoy, Illinois, 62059, right off of Route 3. And what phone number can folks call you to get more information? Oh, they can call 618-219-0343, or they can just email me, uh, cblafour at gmail.com, something simple. It sure is. It sure is. We're we're just about out of time, Apostle. But before we go, there's one little thing that I want you to just mention to the people. And that is something that you have available called anointed feet. Tell us about that real quick, please. Well, you know, God had given me some instructions on taking off the stress of ministers. We do a lot of standing and preaching, and I feel hate. And so he gave me this method, and I created it. Yes, I did. I created it, and it makes your feet feel real smooth and silky, and it's anointed, and it's, they're, they're using it on everything. They're using it on their legs, their hips, their husbands have it in demand. It's that how the pain is removed and the stress is removed. And so you know God had to give it to me for all of this to be happening. So it's our miracle product right now. 
And can people contact you as well to get their their bottle of uh, anointed feet? Yes, they can. Same way. Same phone number and same email address. Or they could call the radio stations and, and get my telephone number. Uh, that's on KSDL. That's on KXDN. However, or to come to the church and I have it available for them. Just email me, cvlafleur at gmail.com. You can send me your uh, credit card or debit card information. It's used only one time. We can, whatever means necessary, we have it available for you. To make this purchase. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much once again for being a part of the CBC radio show. And I thank you for allowing me to be of service to you. Thank you so much, Apostle. And thank you so much. Love you very much. You too. Thank you. All right, exactly. friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Good morning. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas. Did you know that every year in this great nation, it is estimated that more than 100,000 people will die simply because they cannot afford the prescription medication they need? Millions more suffer needlessly forced to make daily life choices between the prescription medicine they need and food, rent, utilities, childcare, transportation, or other important medical needs. RX Outreach believes that no one in this country should have to choose between the prescription medication they need and life's necessities. No one. Affordable medication is a right. As the nation's largest fully licensed nonprofit pharmacy, RX Outreach serves only low income individuals and families. As a nonprofit organization, RX Outreach is committed to honoring God by serving others. The RX Outreach program provides access to more than 300 medications that are available in more than 600 different strengths. Qualification is easy, and RX Outreach patients only pay the low, affordable price for the prescription medication they need. RX Outreach patients do not pay enrollment fees, membership fees, handling fees, or standard shipping fees. Go to rxoutreach.org or call 888-796-1234 to find out if you qualify. RX Outreach also understands that this problem is larger than just one organization. If you are listening and it's not you who needs assistance, someone near you does. They go to your church, live in your neighborhood, they are your family. Go to rxoutreach.org or call 888-796-1234 for access to affordable medication. Well, friends, haven't we had a wonderful show as usual? I tell you, God gets the glory. He sends us such fantastic people who are doing great things for the kingdom. I want to thank my guest, Adela Jones, the work that she and her staff are doing with Home State Health all across the state of Missouri is unmatchable, truly, truly. And the partnership that they have with so many different agencies and organizations, God is doing a great thing with Home State Health. So I thank Mrs. Jones for being a part of our program this morning. And friends, wasn't that just wonderful? Minister Deborah Mothershed Black, the author of Where Art Thou? When she broke down those first two chapters of the book, I thank God for her and what her ministry is doing her ministry, as she said, of deliverance and really breakthrough. That's what this book is about, to get you to the divine destiny that God has purposed for you. So I encourage you to make sure you go to her website of Deborah M bbooks.com that's Deborah D-E-B-R-A M-B-B-O-O-K-S dot com so you can get your copy of Where Art Thou also thank you so much Mr. Michael R. Holmes the president of RX Outreach always a blessing to have him on the program because RX Outreach is truly doing it doing it doing it throughout the United States these prescriptions these low cost prescriptions that are stamped with an approval of God. I'm telling you, you've got indeed to make sure you get connected with RX Outreach. Simply go to the website, rxoutreach.com. 
www.harvestmoney.org. And then also, thank you so much to Apostle C.V. LaFleur of Harvest of Glory International Churches and Ministries and St. Elizabeth Temple. It was a joy to have the woman of God on the program. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your grand endorsement of the Christian Business Connection. We we love you, Apostle, and we love you. And friends, I want to tell you, if you want to be a part of what's going on with the CBC Radio Show, give us a call at 314-270-2225 or go to the website, thecbcradioshow.com. As always, in closing, I have to say, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.